You know, I didn't think I'd be doing another one of these anytime soon, but thanks to the power of reused assets, we've got ourselves a new Kingdom Hearts game. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to show your support. Alright, so if you don't know what Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is, it's a rhythm game that takes certain elements from the theater rhythm games and puts it in 3D. The story seems to be focusing on what's going on with Kairi after the events of Kingdom Hearts 3. You'll be going through the memories of every Kingdom Hearts world as some form of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, or any of the other playable trios in the series. Anyway, on to the demo. This time Square Enix released it before the full game, so unlike Kingdom Hearts 3, things you may see here may be subject to change. Alright, so starting off we see brand new artwork showing off Kairi along with her biggest moments with Sora and some of the other main characters in the series. However, this is not actually the main menu, but rather a start screen. Usually in the KH game, all the menu options would be displayed here, but this time it's just a press any button prompt. When we press a button, no, not that button, we're brought to an actual main menu, which looks very different from the norm. We see the half pine trio hanging out in Traverse Town, along with the Traverse Town theme playing in the background. On the right we see this number, which you get from completing certain things on stages like getting a full chain. On the left we have our options. World Tour, which you've seen in trailers, is where the story mode takes place. It's inaccessible in the demo, but if you want a better look at what's in there, you can check out my trailer analysis videos. Next we have Track Selection, which just lets you choose a song from a list and play. This is good for if you just want to hop in and get straight to a specific song that you've already unlocked. And after that we have Co-op and Config. Co-op puts you and a partner side by side on a stage, changing the layout to fit two people. I'm not sure if this option allows online co-op because in the demo it just takes you straight to a local mode. In config you have three options. You can adjust the volume, allow the d-pad to have movements, or you can just adjust the timing to correct for the lag in the music. In tutorials and help you can view any of the tips that the game showed you or you can replay the tutorial sections. And in copyright you can look at all the assets they borrowed. Alright let's go into track selections and see what's in there. So in this demo we have four songs in a single player track list. Two from Kingdom Hearts 1, one from Birth by Sleep, and one from 0.2. As you can see, we have Welcome to Wonderland, which is the Wonderland Field theme, Hand in Hand, which is the Traverse Town Battle theme, Rustling Forest, which is the battle theme from Enchanted Dominion, and last but not least, we have the first phase of Wave of Darkness, which is the Demon Tide theme. For each song, you can choose the beginner, standard, crowd mode versions. You also have different styles, which include one button mode, regular mode, and performer mode, which adds even more button prompts like the face buttons and triggers. You can list out all the songs by series or just your favorite song. Next we have the co-op which has two other songs. Sinister Shadows which is the 1000 Heartless theme from Kingdom Hearts 2 and the battle theme from the Musketeers world in Dream Drop Distance. In the co-op stages you have beginner, standard, and proud but there's no one button or performer mode in there. Also you aren't allowed to use or get any items in this demo so no restores. Well that's all that's in the demo. Hope you guys enjoy, and be sure to like, subscribe, and look at all the links in the description. This game is pretty fun so far, I actually made an impressions video on it if you want to check out my thoughts, but yeah, the Switch version runs pretty well, except for, you know, Traverse Town, it kind of slows down a bit in there, but other than that, this game is really fun, and I'm looking forward to the full game. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.